Okay, in this part of the video of the Unit 5 Test Review, I'm just going to focus on questions 1 and 5, where we're simplifying radicals. So let me zoom in on number 20 first. For number 20, uh, it says the square root of 20. Well, if we think about 20, one way we can work this out is we can just do the factors. We could do 4 times 5, and then 4 is a perfect square because it's 2 times 2. And then when we have a pair like that, we just bring that pair out as a single on the outside of the radical. And then what stays would be uh, what's left is a 5, and that can be simplified. So our answer would be 2 square root 5. All right, and now let's take a look at number 5. Okay, the first thing to notice in number 5 is that we have this negative inside the radical. So we know that an i is coming out. Because we could rewrite this as 2 times the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 45. Well, the square root of negative 1 is what we call i. So we already know it's 2i square root 45. But now we need to simplify the square root of 45. Again, we can work that out. We can just think about the factors of 45. That's 9, 9 times 5. And then, of course, 9 is 3 times 3, and that's your pair. comes out as a single. So now we have 2i times 3 square root 5. Remember, 5 is what was left. Well, now we need to go ahead and multiply 2i times 3. Well, that's 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 6i. And then square root 5, and that will be our final answer. And that's a review of simplifying radicals.